So, in this problem, we are given a DC circuit which consists of four resistors connected in this way and then two different uh, EMFs, one E and one 2E. Uh, we are given the values of the resistances, so R is equal to 1 kilo ohm and the EMF is 250 volts. Uh, the question is, if we, label, if we label these two points as A and E, What is the magnitude and direction of the current flowing in the wire AE? So that is the question. Uh, well, this is a standard Kirchhoff's rule problem, so uh, we should start by using the Kirchhoff's first rule. So the Kirchhoff's first rule says that the sum of all currents in a junction is equal to zero. Okay? And we usually take the currents that go into the junction as positive and the currents going out of the junction as negative. So first we have, we have to uh, define the currents and the definition is random, it's up to you. So uh, I decide to choose it like this. So I will say that the current in this part is flowing this way and I'm going to call it I1. The current flowing here is I2. The current flowing here is I3 and this one would be I4. Well, uh, the current flowing in, in the wire AE would be the sum of I3 plus I4 or I1 plus I2. So let's call it I0. So I0 is equal to I3 plus I4 or I1 plus I2. Uh, again, the choice of the direction of the current here is random. If it turns out that uh, the value of I0 that we get is negative, it means that the original choice was incorrect and the actual direction is opposite to it. Okay, so once this choice was made, uh, we can now apply the Kirchhoff's rule to this junction here, which is basically the same thing. So we said that I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 plus I4. If you want to write it in this form, it will be I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4 equals 0. So the currents going in minus the currents going out equals 0. So now let's apply the Kirchhoff's second rule. Uh, to apply the Kirchhoff's second rule, we first need to define the direction in which we're going to go uh, along the loops. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six different loops okay now you don't really need to use all of them because some of the equations will be redundant so you will see that these three loops will be enough for us so we'll choose this one and i prefer to to go here uh counterclockwise so same thing is here the direction would be counterclockwise and here Direction is counterclockwise. Again, the direction of the uh, of the loop in which you're going to go along the loop is also random. You, it's up to you, and it's not going to affect the result. But it is better to stick to one direction, so that if it's counterclockwise here, it should be counterclockwise elsewhere. Even though it doesn't affect the answer, but it just makes your life easier. Okay, so let's start with this first uh, first loop. Okay. Let's call it L1. So uh, let's say that I start from here. So I'll be going from here to this point and then from this point here and then from here to here. If I do that, then in going from here to here, you can see that the current flowing in is flowing in the same direction, right? So it means that the voltage here is bigger than it is here. So the, when we go in this direction, the voltage is actually dropping. So we can say the voltage drop is equal to minus 4Ri2. That's the voltage drop according to the Ohm's law. So if the direction of the loop is in the same direction as the current flow, you have a minus sign. Now let's look here. Here the direction of the loop is opposite to the current flow. 
So which means that at this point the potential is actually bigger than it is here. So we're moving to a higher potential. So the voltage drop is actually positive. So we get I1 R. And now from here we move down here. So from plus to minus. And which means that the voltage actually drops. And it drops by the value of EMF. So that's the Kirchhoff's voltage rule for this loop. Okay, so we can do the same thing for this one. Okay, so again, let's start with this point, moving this way. So this would be uh, 2Ri3. We're moving from here to here, to a higher, from a lower potential to a higher potential. And then here, from a higher potential to a lower potential. So this would be minus 3R I4 and then from here to here so from a lower to higher it increases so plus 2E equals 0 uh, now let's look at this one okay so he will go from here to here so that would be uh, 3 3R I4 and then from here to here so that would be plus 4R I2 and that is equal to 0 so there is no EMF in that one so we have these four equations so one coming from here and three equations are here uh, and equations are linear so we have a set of linear equations with four unknowns four equations, four unknowns so this is doable um, I'm going to leave the algebra you can work it out yourself, but if you solve these four equations for the four unknowns uh, and then find the sum which we're looking for, we're looking for the sum of I1 plus I2 or I3 plus I4, this sum turns out to be equal to minus 0.05 ampere. So the fact that we got minus means that the actual direction of the current is opposite to the one we've chosen. So the actual direction is from A to E. So that is the actual direction of the current and the magnitude of the current is 0.05 amperes.